Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, The Coolest Chick. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel and liking and commenting and just engaging with me on my channel. I really do appreciate you guys. So listen, the last time we was here, I did like the $100,000 lasagna, the oxtail lasagna. Well, now I'm back and I'm going to do the low budget lasagna, which is the turkey lasagna. You guys know that I love working with the turkey, ground turkey meat. So we're going to do the turkey, turkey lasagna uh, today. It's still the same way that we did the oxtail lasagna. It's just that it won't take us hours to complete the meal and the meat won't cost us, you know, almost $40 for four pounds of uh, oxtail. So we have the ground turkey here. Ground turkey, you know, I like to get like the three pounder ground turkey, but you don't, you know, if your family is smaller, you can actually scale that down and get, you know, something a little bit smaller than a three pound package of ground turkey. Hold on a second. All right, guys, I'm back. I'm sorry, I didn't even have my Bluetooth in my ear, so I'm not sure if you guys could hear me, but like I said, we're doing the low budget turkey meatloaf today. Uh, we have all the ingredients here. Another thing is that we're switching it up. We're not gonna be using any more of that Morton salt uh, in our meals or whatnot or whatever. We're gonna scale it down because I'm trying to you know, lose some <laughs> weight and I'm also trying to take some of the salt out of my diet. So today we're gonna have, I'm gonna show you guys, but today we're gonna have this everything seasoning. I just picked this up. I believe I got this at Costco or somewhere, but it's just simply like a total seasoning or a, a complete seasoning. It's the same thing, but this is more of a, um, on the organic, you know, plant-based type thing. There's no, uh, glute, it's gluten-free uh, and, and everything. So it's kind of like an everything bagel thingy, but anyway, I got this. We're gonna also use some pepper. We're gonna also use some all-purpose seasoning because you know, we're using ground turkey and we wanna make sure that we season that up pretty well. So then we're gonna also use some garlic powder. And last but not least, we're gonna use some onion powder. So we're gonna get started here. I've got my ground turkey here. I have my uh, pot over here ready for the ground turkey to go in. So we're gonna get started. Hold on a second. Okay guys, so I'm gonna get my stove started here. My son pointed out that I said ground turkey meatloaf and not ground, well, not uh, turkey lasagna. So, anywho, I'm just cleaning out my little pot here. I'm gonna add some, woo! Lord have mercy. I'm gonna add a little avocado oil in there. No big thing. I just like to coat the bottom of my skillet and I'm choosing to use the avocado oil in there. So I'm gonna get this a little hot and add my ground turkey. And also I'm cutting some of my work today just with some cut up peppers and onions um, that I picked up. I used to be able to get these at my local store, but I guess they say we not selling them as much as uh, we would like. So I gotta go to Walmart <laughs> to get the great value brand. Anywho, I'm, like I said, I'm gonna get the meat the fire started, and you guys know how we grind up, uh, how we cook ground turkey. So, anywho, yeah. So, how's everybody's day, week, month going? I've had a very eventful, eventful month, and. Um, just a couple of things that was going on that I had to attend to, like going to the doctor and, you know, keeping a checkup on myself. So I just wanted to check in with you guys and see how everything was going with you guys. So especially my people that are always commenting, I believe that is Kathleen from Texas and there is Sharon um, that also engages with me quite a bit on my form and so i thank you guys from the bottom of my heart uh of course my uh friends that i see uh, a lot on here uh, my friend kimberly and um a couple of other people i'm sorry if i can't get your names right now i'm just i'm old <laughs> sometimes i don't remember but anyway 
I thank you guys all from the bottom of my heart for, uh, you know, just engaging with me on my channel. So like I said, I have some ground turkey in here. I'm going to add some garlic powder. And so one thing with ground turkey is that you need to cut the turkey taste. <laughs> and so that's why we go ahead and add um, uh, these. This is why I add these different uh, flavors into my uh, ground turkey. And so I have this, excuse me, hold on one second. All right, guys, I had my son messing with my video. So I'm going to add some of this uh, all-purpose seasoning in here as well. And uh, some pepper. I'm going to add some pepper in there. And we're going to add that anything, uh, not anything, everything seasoning. I don't know if I told you guys anything or everything. Anyway, you guys see everything seasoning. I'm going to add a little bit of that up in there as well. You guys notice I didn't add an ounce of salt in there because we really want to flavor the meal. Those particular uh, ingredients, um, they have salt in them, in, in them, but it's very little, little of it. Like the anything seasoning, it has... Uh, 40 milligrams of sodium in there can compare to uh, the Morton salt that has maybe, I don't know, 650 milligrams of uh, 650 milligrams of salt, uh, salt of sodium in it. So anyway, we're going to brown up this uh, ground turkey and come back for the next stage, which you guys know is just the building of the lasagna. Um, which is the ricotta cheese. You're gonna need some provolone cheese, some Parmesan cheese, as well as some mozzarella. Now, like I told you guys, you do not have to buy the cheese separately. You can buy the cheese, um, you know, in the packages that they have available uh, for you to purchase. So, you don't necessarily have to buy the cheese and cut that up yourself so you can cut money uh, that way I've seen a couple of people saying that they were on a budget and that um, they couldn't you know maybe afford to purchase uh, uh, things like other people uh, that you know may be able to purchase and so I wanted to do a video where I cater to everyone you know um, in doing like a scale down version of the oxtail lasagna I mean, we did use oxtail. It was very good, uh, but you can also get a very, very nice meal uh, if you just use uh, ground turkey. You can use ground chicken, you can use ground beef, but I like to cut some of the fat, and so that is why we use, um, I use personally, I like to use ground turkey. So like I said, I'm gonna get this a little brown here. I'm gonna set up my other area so that I can do the ricotta cheese and probably add in a little spinach um, to the cheese along with a couple of eggs and get that ready so that I can start to build the lasagna. All right, y'all, the meat is about ready. What I did at the end, I hit it with a little of that garlic paste because uh, I, I just like garlic, you know, in my meat lasagna, it's gonna taste excellent in there, the little extra hint of flavor that you get um, from, you know, trying to cover up the turkey meat. So we're going to get ready, like I said, to make our ricotta sauce, ricotta cheese, and uh, this is what your ground turkey should look like. It should resemble ground meat, damn near. Okay, so we're going to get ready. All right, guys, so what I'm doing here is actually, I can't find my cheese grater, but I got my good faithful uh, chopper here that I'm using to chop up some cheese. So this is some um, provolone cheese that I have up in here, and I also grated up some mozzarella cheese. So, um, and the provolone cheese, you know, I couldn't find it already, uh, like in the brick, like the mozzarella, so I just got a package here, cut it up, and threw it over into my uh, grinder. Okay guys, so we're gonna start by cutting up uh, a little spinach to go inside of the um, um, ricotta cheese. I just like to have 
spinach in mine. You don't have to put spinach in yours if you don't want spinach over in there. I just like to have spinach in mine. So we're gonna add a little spinach in there. I have my uh, uh, fresh parsley that it's already been washed and everything. I just keep it in the bag. So I'm gonna cut that up and add that over in there. Let me turn my little fan off. I got my little fan here going it may be a little noise interruption there so we're going to uh, put this back in the bag and I am done with that part so I'm going to move this over here into my sink so that in there I'm going to get a towel to kind of wipe the residue off from right here I don't know about you guys but I hate to cook in filth I cannot stand it so now we have the um the uh, cheese, the ricotta cheese. It's just whatever cheese you have over in your area, get that. But it's the ricotta cheese. We're gonna use all of this. Just gonna simply dump it over. Usually I have a problem because my hands are wet and my nails, for some reason I can never cut this damn thing, pop this damn thing open, so. I'm going to use some resistant. What type of shit is this? Anyway, you cut the damn top off. There we go, that'll work. Bam, you're off. And so I'm just gonna dump that over into my container here, all of it. You just dump it all over in there. I'm gonna get me a spoon to stir this up. All right, so I got my spoon here. I'm gonna add a little garlic powder into that. And I'm going to add some Parmesan cheese over in here as well. And then you just, oh, damn it, my top rail. And two eggs. These are extra large eggs, so I'm going to be very careful when I add some egg in here. So it's going to be maybe half of the damn other egg because it's too much. It's an extra large egg, so, ooh, I don't know why. Oh Lord, I created a mess. I created a mess. You guys know this is real cooking when you don't create a damn mess. So let me get this off of here right here. I'm just gonna knock it over into my sink. And that way I can clean it. Uh, just wash it right on down the damn drain, okay? Get this bad. Get this up there. So then we're gonna take the, the spoon, fork, knife, whatever you have, and just Keep stirring everything up until it's combined, you know, properly in your container. And once you get that done, you can start layering your um, for your lasagna. So I'm gonna stir this up, get this all stirred up and all ready to go, and then we'll come back for the next step. All right, guys. So let's get started with the build up. I have my ground turkey here. I have my ricotta cheese here. I have my Parmesan cheese here my provolone cheese here and my mozzarella cheese here and we're going to build it up like we did the oxtail uh one so i'm just looking for somewhere to set this damn spoon down oh, maybe over here and so um yeah we just take the ricotta cheese as much as you want i wouldn't suggest that you take a lot but you know you just spread it down at the bottom now i did get the uh the you know the uh, uh, lasagna the oven baked lasagna you can you know really cheapen it out i think these are like maybe four dollars a box and you can get the um the one that you boil i think they're like a dollar fifty a box so you can really cut um your expenses uh quite a bit if you you know scale down some of the things that you use in your um lasagna so and then you can really make this a fat free type you know you can really scale down the calories on this so we're just going to layer and add some ground turkey down here just as we did the uh the oxtails Put the ground turkey is it looking good Fossey? thank you so much i got my little photo you know my cameraman here helping to make sure that the angle is fine 
So it doesn't matter how you add the cheese in. I'm generally gonna do just do the uh, provolone cheese and then the Parmesan cheese and then the mozzarella cheese on top of that. All right, so then we just keep layering until you know you got as many layers as you want. This is a little cheap ass box where the stuff kind of broke up, but it's okay. So like I said, we're just gonna keep layering this. Um, I should have maybe four or five la uh, layers of this. And then we're gonna put it in the oven on 350 for 30 minutes covered. Uh, and we'll be back once we finish all of that. But yeah, you just keep layering it. As much cheese, like I said, that you want on there, as much meat as you want. I, like I said, I wouldn't overdo the meat. I wouldn't overdo the cheese. You just want to well balance. And you see how there's no grease in here? Please don't put no grease in your lasagna uh, mixture. It's not a good look and it's not gonna come out well. So this time I'm gonna add a little Parmesan. It doesn't matter the order of the cheese that you put it in. So do it your way. Do it the way that you want to do. All right, so we'll be back shortly. All right, y'all, so I added a little parsley, parsley on top of there. I think this is about five or six layers. Like I said, I'm gonna put it in the oven covered for 30 minutes on 350, and we'll see the final results when we come back. All right, guys, we're coming out of the uh, oven right now. I'm just now putting it pulling this shit out of the oven. Give me one second. Oh my God, today. Lord have mercy. I've got three things, 15 million things going on. I put it in the oven. I said 350, but it was actually 375. And there is the final result. 375 for, um, let's see, how long did I put it in the oven for? 375 for about 30 minutes or so, because everything is really cooked. You just kind of putting everything together. And so, let's give you guys a bird's eye view of that. So there it is right there, the turkey lasagna, the budget one from the um, from the oxtail lasagna. So there you have it. All right. oh, oh. You guys, hold on, I dropped my phone, hold on a second. Oh my God, today. Oh my God, guys, we <laughs> I dropped my phone. Can y'all believe that? That is too damn silly. Anyway, guys, I am done with this project right here. I'm getting beautiful so I can go out. It's Saturday night. I'm going to enjoy myself at a little gathering today. Look at my little outfit I got on, y'all. Isn't that cute? Anyway, guys, I am so thankful for you guys. Thank you for staying, sticking with me this whole time. And um, I will see you guys soon. It's so hard to look at that little camera right there. So I'm practicing as we, you know, go along here. But... Thank you guys so much. I love you all. Please remember to subscribe to this channel. Like, comment, and share, 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 baby. Let everybody know to come over to the coolest chick because we are on the best ride ever. I love you guys all. I'll see you soon. Bye. All right, guys. So we're going to cut into this beautiful turkey lasagna that we made here. And I have my spatula here. And I'm going to probably do this in right here. I should have let it set for a little while, but I didn't. So here it is right here. Oh, Ooh, my God today. And there is a vision of it as I put it on that plate there. So we're going to enjoy this. You guys have a happy holiday, not a happy holiday, a happy weekend, and I will see you soon.